In this video, I'll show you how to apply specific colors in Affinity Photo. Let's get started. If you'd like to follow along with me, I've left a download link to the images that I'll be using in the video description. Okay, let's go ahead and get started by adding in our color swatch image. I'll go to the top of the screen to File, then I'll go down to Place, I'll select the purple color image and I'll open it up. And then I'll click and drag it so that it's partially overlapping with our shirt. We're going to use this in a moment, but for now I'm going to turn off this layer and I'll select our photo layer again. With this layer selected, we can go ahead and make a selection of his shirt. I'll click on the object selection tool and then I'll hover over our model here. Right now, the whole model is being selected, so if you only want to select his shirt, hold Alt or Option, and then you can move your cursor around on the shirt to make it so it's only selecting the shirt, not his arm. So I'm just going to move this around. Once you see the selection looks good, go ahead and click. And now with that selected, we can apply an adjustment to his shirt. So in our adjustments, I'm going to apply a gradient map adjustment. You can see this adjustment is only affecting his shirt, which is perfect. So let's go ahead and deselect with Command or Control D. And then we can go ahead and adjust this gradient map adjustment. So this adjustment applies a color to the shadows mid-tones, and the highlights. So we're going to adjust each one of these color stops so that it turns into this purple color. I'll turn the purple layer back on, and then I'm going to select each one of these color stops. I'll click on color, and then I'll click and drag on the color picker to change its color. So I'll just repeat that for each one of these. Okay, and with that, we're technically done. <laughs> but we still want to adjust it so that the shadows are a darker shade of this purple color, and the highlights are a lighter shade. So let's go ahead and start with the shadows. I'll go back to the color, and instead of a color wheel, I'm going to change this to HSL sliders. Using this, we can lower the luminosity slider to make this a darker shade of purple. And I've actually found with this particular image that it looks good to go all the way down to black to make the shadows darker. It might be different for your photo, you might only need to lower it a little bit, so just use your artistic judgment here. All right, next I'm going to go to our Highlights color stop. I'll click on the color, and this time I'll raise this to make it lighter. I think about there looks pretty good. The highlights are about the brightness that they should be. If we bring this all the way up, you can see that this actually makes his shirt look a little bit shiny. So you want to be careful with this one and not raise it too much. Okay, right now, the shirt is the right color, but it's a little bit too bright overall. So to fine tune this, you can click and drag on this middle color stop to make it a little bit darker. So as I move this over, you can see we're moving this purple color so more of the highlights are being affected. And now you can see that this really does look like the right color. While I think this already looks really good, we can adjust this even more by clicking right here in the middle of these two color stops to add another color stop. This has automatically adopted this dark purple color. And if you want, you can play around with this positioning, moving it over to make the shadows a little bit darker. All right. And with that, I'll just turn off our color swatch so that you can see the before and after. 
great job, and now you know how to apply specific colors to your photos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.